Hi everybody, Paul here. In this video, I want to show you how to tell if your air conditioner compressor clutch is bad on your vehicle. So stay tuned. This is what a typical air conditioner compressor looks like, which will be located by the front of the engine, by the drive belt. You'll also see two refrigerant lines attached to it, like you see here. The AC compressor clutch is located here on the outside of the pulley wheel. The clutch only turns when it's called upon to circulate refrigerant through the air conditioner system. So the clutch turns on and off as needed to deliver cool air. The clutch system is electromagnetic, which is what allows it to engage or disengage from the compressor pulley wheel. The clutch system consists of a clutch, a pulley, a pulley bearing, and a clutch coil. As a compressor clutch ages over time from being used, it can start to fail, which means the clutch will not turn to circulate the refrigerant, which means it will not deliver cool air. So here's how to tell if the clutch is bad. One huge caveat that you need to know is there can be lots of other reasons as to why the clutch is not engaging besides a bad clutch. With the vehicle turned off, first check to make sure that the clutch turns freely by manually turning it with your hand. Most AC clutches are designed to turn freely when disengaged. If the clutch will not turn freely, then more than likely the pulley wheel is seized. This will require removing and disassembling the compressor to determine what's wrong. If the clutch turns freely, then disconnect the electrical connection as shown here, which will be located right by the clutch. Next, take a digital multimeter and place it on 200 ohms. Typically, a clutch coil should be between 2 to 5 ohms. Any reading below 2 ohms or over 5 ohms indicates a bad clutch coil. Now touch the two probes from the digital multimeter to the two electrical connection contacts by the clutch. This reads 4.3 ohms, so the clutch coil is good. You can also test the clutch by using your car battery. Take two wire leads and attach one to the positive and one to the negative battery terminal. Now take the other ends of the two wire leads and touch the two electrical connection contacts by the clutch. This should cause a clicking sound and cause the clutch to move in and out. If it does not, then the clutch is bad and needs to be replaced. This clutch is good. Another big caveat is sometimes it's just as cost effective to replace the entire compressor as it is to replace just the clutch system. If you do replace just the clutch system, this can usually be performed without having to remove the refrigerant lines on the compressor. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.